dude, I just got a single mom to finance a new Sienna with zero down and 15% APR. She's uh, screwed. Excuse me. Excuse me? Hold, hold on one sec, stupid customer. Hey, good looking. Welcome to Jimmy Toyota. How can I help you? Uh, hi, yeah, I'm uh, looking to buy a car. Well, good looking. You've come to the right place. Let me get you in a car. What's your budget? You know, recently got promoted. The wife said yes. And uh, looking to splurge a little, you know, 75, 80K oh, maybe. Good looking man with a good looking budget. Can you stop? You know what? The new Supra feels like just the car for you. Actually, yeah, that'd be awesome. I always wanted one of those as a kid. Sweet. And the best part is, the car gets you so many girls. Oh, I'm uh, I'm, I'm married. Yeah, so. Oh, okay. Okay, just one minor problem though. They're pretty new, hard to come by. They just launched. We actually don't have any on the lot right now. Oh, then why would you bring it up? However, the good news is we have a car just like the Supra that would be perfect for you. Okay, sweet. Only thing is it costs a little more, you know, out the door you'd be looking at around 75 grand. Yeah, it's good, still in my budget. Okay, and speaking of doors, it has four doors it's not a coupe like the supra that that's all right i guess okay and it only makes 151 horsepower okay and there's two fueling stations in the whole city so if those shut down you're screwed ah and the best part i'll show you it looks just like this you must be out of your mind because that is way too good of a deal to pass up on I'm in. I knew you'd love it. Here are the keys. Oh, you probably thought that was just a skit, hey? Nope, this is my car. It's a 2019 Toyota Mirai and it is hydrogen powered. Now I know what you're thinking, who in their right mind would buy a car like this for $70,000? Before I get into that, let me give you a brief overview of the car. Now this car right here was originally conceived at the 2011 Tokyo Motor Show. Toyota had found large success with their hybrid car, the Prius, especially at this time. And they thought, hey, let's dive into a new sector of environmentally friendly cars. Then at the 2014 Los Angeles Auto Show, the car was officially unveiled as the Mirai. It was set to hit showrooms in Asia and Europe in 2015. Then soon after, the car was brought to the North American market with an MSRP of $70,000 Canadian. Cars did not sell too well, mostly due to the high price and the limited fueling infrastructure. At the time, you couldn't even fill the car up unless you lived in one of the few West Coast cities that had the infrastructure set up. Then, in October 2019, Toyota announced a second generation Mirai for the 2021 model year. It was more luxurious, more powerful, and actually good looking. This was a huge problem for Toyota factories, specifically up here in Canada. Why? Because they had produced so many first generation Mirais, but nobody wanted them. And with the second generation of Toyota Mirais on the way, Toyota was absolutely desperate to get rid of them. And in 2021, they got so desperate that they started giving them away here in Canada for $15,000 Canadian. That's right, not $15,000 off, $15,000 MSRP. So then when we got wind of that deal, we had no choice but to buy one. So with that knowledge, it actually doesn't make the car seem like that bad of a deal after all. So today I'm gonna show you what it's been like to own this Mirai for the past three and a half years. I'm gonna first take you on an interior tour, then I'm gonna show you how to fill this car up. We're gonna get a little sciency there, and then I'm gonna take it out on the streets and show you how it drives. Oh, and join my Discord. Why? Because you're lonely and you need friends. QR code right here, link down below join my discord. So coming up to the Mirai, the first thing that you notice is, uh, it, why does it look like this? And I don't fully know, to be honest with you, but I think I have a guess and it's to do with the mid 2010s trend about making environmentally friendly cars ugly. Back in the 2010s, being eco-friendly was a lot less mainstream than it is now. It was a lot more of a statement. Therefore, car manufacturers thought, why not make environmentally friendly cars look like a statement as well? Think of older Priuses, first gen Leafs and this car right here. But then manufacturers thought, hey, if we make the cars environmentally friendly and actually good looking, we can sell more cars, which is why we have good looking cars now, like the new Prius, the new Leaf and the new Mirai. But since I don't have the new Mirai, this is what we got. Now we're getting into the interior of the, you wanna get a little closer to my face. Now we're getting into the interior of the Mirai. And first thing I wanna draw your attention to is just the center stack here. This is exactly straight from the Prius of the generation. They didn't even try and pretend that this is a different car than the Prius other than the internals. The second thing, we have the H2O button here. Now, what does this do? You're gonna find out after. Now, come with me to the back seat. The final thing we have here is the center console that does not move. Why does it not move? Uh, because there's hydrogen stuff under here. I could get into the science of it, the nitty gritty, 
You guys don't care. I don't really care. But there's some hydrogen thing just planted under here. Does some hydrogen things. But what that unfortunately means is that even though this is a big car, you can only fit four people in. It is not a five-seater. So now we get to fueling the Mirai. And this comes with a quick science lesson. I'll make it quick. Don't worry. We start by filling the car up with cold compressed hydrogen gas. Then that fuel goes straight to a fuel cell stack in the hood here. The fuel cell stack provides oxygen. It combusts with the hydrogen gas to create two things. First of all, water. H2 from the pump plus oxygen from the fuel cell stack equals H2O. Secondly, it creates electricity, which then powers an electric motor, which powers the car. And now you're probably thinking, what happens to that water that we produced? Well, it drips out the back of the car like pee. Okay, now we are in the Mirai, ready for the driving portion. I have the absolute jankiest setup right now, but we're gonna make it work. I got my phone filming, as you can see right here. I have this POV setup. I look like a freaking hibachi chef right now. It doesn't matter. We're about to hit the roads. You guys have been asking for this. I'm going to tell you guys how the Mirai drives. We are in the Rai, the Rai that's just Mirai owner speak. If you don't know, you don't know. So first thing, yeah, the interior looks like a Prius. This car also <laughs> drives, you guessed it, like a Prius. And uh, what do I mean by that? So it's very smooth. It's very comfortable. I'll say that. But it also is extremely dull. The steering is so dampened. The turning radius is like that of a truck. It's crazy, but it is comfortable. So if you need this to cruise around every day, which is pretty much what I'm doing 90% of the time, it's actually pretty perfect. It is not that fast. As you can see, I think zero to 60 is in about 8.9 seconds. Right out the gate, because the hydrogen fuel cell powers an electric motor, it rips. And then when it hits 40 and not 40 miles per hour, like 40 kilometers per hour, it absolutely tanks. Like the acceleration just goes down to zero. It, it, it's like, it's got no stamina. I don't know. That's a weird way of putting it, but I hope that makes sense. But to be honest with you guys, the car is like really comfortable. And that's what matters with this kind of car is that it's comfortable, gets you from A to B. I guess that's good enough. But dude, when I say this thing is slow, it is slow. Sometimes people will see that's a hydrogen powered car and pull up to me at a light and be like, dude, is that the hydrogen car? And then instead of telling them that I got it for an insane discount, nobody wants these, the car sucks. I'll be like, yeah, man, it's the, it's the hydrogen car and they'll be all hyped. And then uh, they'll ask me to like floor it or whatever, a couple guys have done this. And then they'll be ex extremely underwhelmed. They'll be expecting like some Tesla acceleration, you know, crazy Japanese engineering sends this thing flying. Nope, this thing is a commuter car. It accelerates like a commuter car. In all ways, it is a commuter car. Okay, floor it from 20. Woo. Yeah, no, it's, 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 there's nothing. It also has insane body roll. Like I have driven SUVs with less body roll than this dog. We are going so slow on the on-ramp right now. It is 45. The limit's 90. This is insane, bro. You gotta be joking. Look at this white car. I don't know if you guys can see it. Maybe my phone's blocking. We are currently merging at 50. Dude, bro, this is, this is why I make the videos I make because we can't have people doing this. This is absolutely unacceptable. Get the frick out of the way of this car. Oh, there's a biker coming behind me. Holy, is he gonna flick my mirror? No, he's chilling. I didn't really cut him off. I didn't really cut him off. He's just, I, I get scared of bikers, I won't lie. Does that make me less of a man? Probably. Now, if you've made it this far, here's the moral of the story. Everyone ties their identity to what they get behind the wheel of on a daily basis. People get so insecure about the car that they drive as if anyone cares. No, but seriously, I make these stupid internet videos with the Mirai. I pick up the homies at the Mirai. I pick up woman with the Mirai. So if I can do all those things with this car right here, surely you can have just a little bit more appreciation for your car. Because we all know that you should not be attaching your identity to the car you drive or any material thing for that matter, but rather the amount of YouTube subs you have. I have 12,000 by the way.